This is Chip here, UMC Portal. We're at the Showstoppers event at EFA 2014. HP have just uh, moments ago, I believe, announced the HP Pavilion X2. So this is a 10-inch tablet, uh, Atom-based. We've got a 1366 by 768 screen. But this is a nice IPS screen with some really punchy colors on it, actually. It actually really stands out from a lot of the uh, the tablets that I've seen, uh, at least today, anyway. Now, the HP Pavilion X2 is not just a tablet. The feature here is it's coming with this actually quite nice, quite nice, I've tested it out, uh, keyboard. Now, it's USB uh, connected via some ports at the bottom here. The trackpad seems okay, and I've tested the keyboard out. There's no power in the keyboard, so it's just a basic keyboard. So, we've got, um, how much is the storage in there? 32 probably? 32 or 64. 32 or 64. 2 gigs of RAM. The Intel Atom quad core at 1.3 to 1 1.8 uh, gigahertz. It's weighing around 500 grams. We've even got, if we just go around to the side end, this is uh, actually pretty unique for a tablet. I'm just going to take you, show you that port there. It's a full size USB port. We've got micro USB, that's for the charging. We've got um, micro HDMI. This is really difficult to, to see this, but it's a micro HDMI port there, and we've got a micro SD slot there. There's the power. There's the volume rocker port. There's a power button up on here. Looks like there might even be dual array microphones on the top, but it might be um, something else there. Just going around the other side, and then in a minute, we'll have a look at this stand here, which can give you a few different modes. Let's just turn that around. There's just a power, oh sorry, head, headset port there. So as I mentioned, speaker here, speaker on the other side. So you've got front sp facing speakers. Now I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask um, the HP rep here just to show me the modes that the, the case. Well, maybe we close it up first and we take it from there. We'll close it so that, and it works great as to protect your screen when you're carrying it. However, when you wanna use it as a keyboard, you've got two support positions, one, leans a little back if you're a taller person or standing up. The other brings it down closer or more vertical if you're sitting in front of it. And finally, if you're playing a touch-based game or watching a video, you can actually fold it over so the keyboard's completely out of the way. So you've got a nice sort of stand mode there as well for watching films. And incidentally, I, I just checked out the battery size on this. It's a very good 34 watt hour battery inside here, so I think you're gonna get a really good uh, video playback time I'm guessing around we're 11 seeing, hours or you'll see about up to 11 and three yeah. quarter hours that's what I that's what I guess with this so right you need to know the price of this right this is launching uh, in the European market at 329 euros including the keyboard now that to me is actually pretty good deal if this has 11 hours of video playback uh, battery life. This is the one you want to take across on the uh, cross-Atlantic uh, flights. In fact, I'm doing one on Monday. Maybe I can steal this one and take it with me. Okay, let me just correct that screen information. That's 1280 by 800 showing there, which is quite weird because it actually looks like a little bit better than that. Maybe that's Microsoft uh, clear type doing its stuff there for you, but that screen is reporting 1280 by 800. So one other thing you need to know about this, it's actually got a digitizer layer as well. This pen is not working, but this will be the pen. This doesn't come in the package, but will be available separately. And um, I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't see it on that, but it does report pen capability on the screen. So that's a digitizer layer on the keyboard as well. So that's just announced by HP. It's the HP Pavilion X2, 329 euros, Windows 10 inch tablet with the keyboard i think that's great value thank you hp for demoing that we're at showstoppers at ifa thanks for watching